Hey guys, welcome to yet another Take 3 reaction here on Take 3 Productions for the Schmo Down Trivia Schmodown. We are in the Inner Geekdom final. I am here with a bunch of great people, starting with Malcolm. Malcolm, how are you doing today? Who do you got? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Got, uh, uh, I'm doing pretty good. It just feels like um, this tournament's been going on for years and years and years. <laughs> and and um, now we're at the final. I'm, I want to see Mara um, take the upset because um, it's just going to be poetic justice for Mike to have planned all this out just to lose. So, yeah. 110%. Linus, who do you got? I'm really Obviously. excited for this matchup. Mara's been great. She's amazing. She's a rookie who made it into the tournament finals, but this is Mike's match to lose. No offense, Mara. Mike's been absolutely dominant, and he's going to take this no problem. And I'm excited to see him do this. He's going to go for Inman, and I think he's got that too. 110%, Linus. And Cody Newbury, you've been on here before. Who do you got? Um, I'm, I'm with Linus. Uh, I have to go with Mike. Um, all roads lead to Mike at this point. He's on a historic pace, over 90% accuracy, and his steal rate is out of this world and scoring 21 a game. So if he loses, it's going to be probably worse than the pudding uh, debacle that happened against Koi. This could go down as if he if he ends up losing. I like Mara. I think she's great. I just don't think she has enough to beat Mike. Ah, uh, that's, that's big words. So, guys, we are going to press play. In five, four, three, two, one, play. Here we go, the live event. Probably have this whole <laughs> song memorized. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Jason defends his title. First title match in the live event. Of the <laughs> That's true. And it's the undercard. Well, yeah, because of Merle. Mm -hmm. Anarchy. People hated this one out. I absolutely love this idea. I love it also. Well, people hated it without even giving it a shot. Like, mm -hmm. without knowing or seeing what was going to happen. I mean, now that above the line's gone, it makes sense. <laughs> Nothing matters. Just scramble everything up because they were so great. Oh, we find out who's on the poster today. We do. No more question mark. Unless Mike loses and uses corruption against it. Unless Mike dresses up as a question mark. Oh, is this the video Frank made? Yep. Uh, good for Frank. No one knew who you were, and now they do, because of me. So I would think when tomorrow's so credit, nice she's beating everyone yourself, that's beating Mike and their geek them, Coy and Rachel. You're one of those people that don't get get stuff and you don't thank them for it, huh? That match was nuts. I it was. Who you are. You keep on winning. I'm gonna keep on winning. We'll see where that this is sweet. It's kind of like nostalgic. She held up her end of the bargain, as did I. Now, she's a monster in this league. She is Frankenstein's monster, and I'm Frankenstein. I created a monster, and I've got to face her, because I'm a man of my word. <laughs> oh, this is kind of scary. Yep, it's corrupted. <laughs> I'm scared. Frank, right? they give me nightmares. <laughs> oh, he's got a black leather jacket today, not a brown one. <laughs> I, I'm torn right now. I'm torn okay, between. Right. I'm torn between getting upset and going heel. Two promos. Yay! 
Yay. 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 Maybe that's my own doing because I shut everyone off for a little while. But I got some decisions to make. So we're gonna leave. <laughs> and your winners, Ben, the Boss, Ben, and Andrew Gaff. Wow. You're so good. Yeah. There. Just the, oh, now you want to talk? Now you want to talk, man? We did. We came back, and I didn't want to do this we've after tried our last all time. You, we tried oh, I don't want to hear that. I needed to go to my own thing and take care of this. Rest, oh, here we're right. Just don't, relax. Don't tell me what to do, man. What I need to do, you know what? I gotta get that damn monkey suit because we, we, you know what? Here, just a few guys. Everyone's a league and all this. You don't. I do not want to come back to this crap, man. And I wanted everyone to have their hand game on, and no one did. But every time after the match, everyone's like, "Dude, man, you gotta leave. You gotta leave this and that." And I don't want to do it, man, because we're all friends outside here. But you guys aren't my friends. You just show up, and you get your face on these cameras. You know what? You say we're a league, we're not. I'm a league of my own, man. You're talking about the uh, five. Yeah, yeah, and interdict him? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, five way man. Uh, we're gonna do things a little different. We're gonna do uh, a tournament. It's gonna be an interdict him tournament. No, 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 no. We don't have time to do all that tournament stuff. Let, we have to get let, let, let me stop. Let me stop you right there. Yeah. Because I think. Hey there, Schmodown fans. It's Thad Williams, your commissioner. I'm here with a little bit of an update regarding the Inner Geekdom tournament. Well, this tournament has been something crazy. I mean, you look at what Mike been crazy indeed. has done. He's turned mm -hmm. this whole league upside down on its head. And he oh, I forgot Mike Carlson was in there. This has been going on for. We're doing a tournament. These competitors, a lot of competitors, have been going for a bit. This tournament before, not the longest tournament. Now find themselves in a position. With four wins, they could what is the longest tournament, Linus? 2015 tournament ended in 26. That is um, interesting. Cannot wait for your next Schmodown tribute, Schmodown match. As long as he doesn't challenge any more questions. Causing the chat to go ballistic. I'll listen to the questions better next time. <laughs> so many technical knockouts. Yeah. <laughs> there is, uh... We're into the third round. You guys know who you're facing yet? Oh, wait a minute. I know you guys are facing Had Adam right? done good in his round one, he, it was probably Adam versus Kanapik. No. <laughs> yeah. Mike's still at his five point. No, had Adam done good in his round one. Mike, do you remember what happened at the beginning? I said, down. So, I was how good would he be? And I said, you oh, know what? That's true. You keep I winning, forgot. And I'm going to keep winning. She kept winning. And I kept winning. She held up her end of the bargain, as did I. She's a monster in this league. She is Frankenstein's monster, and I'm Frankenstein. More scared what did Frankenstein music? have to do to his monster? He had to put it down, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you down, Mom. <coughs> wow.
upon us. I am merely Mark Ellis. This, you know her, you love her on pencils and parsecs. And as he's here, you also probably know her as the manager of the Shire Wolves. It's Miss Emma Fife joining wow, me on the team. Wearing a suit jacket, but uh, it's never. great to be back on the <laughs> He lost the bet. This is where I well, he wore the, the orange one a lot last season. My profound ability to pronounce mm -hmm. things uh, in yeah, Elvish. So yeah. here we are. Probably going <laughs> to lean on you heavily during <laughs> those rounds. It's going to be a fun uh, announce, uh, match to announce with you because you've been under this White House spotlight in particular. I mean, you were in this tournament early. You actually got knocked out by one of the competitors. You I have did, by Miss Mara Knopic. Mara, she is she's so talented. And she's one of these rising stars, nay, brown dwarf star, that has just come onto the scene in such a big way. She's got two TKOs under her belt. Sorry, one of them was against uh, you. You know what? It's fair. She earned it. <laughs> and But you probably know uh, competing against her. Not only is she great in a variety of inner geekdom categories, she also is able to play uh, against incredible odds. It doesn't matter what happened to her that no, day. Malcolm, I can hear you. Show, your audio she a little gave bit. us one of the best matches of all time against Rachel yeah. Cushing. I believe it was so cool. 11 yeah, questions into OT. That is when absolutely that correct. Ali Frazier finally ended. What a battle that it, was. It really was. I mean, that's going to go down as one of the greatest matches in this is going to be a great space. match guys certainly a contender mm -hmm. for match of the year and i mean she was up against rachel cushing who is a, an absolute titan in the As inner you know but mara is feeling much better and, for this one uh, you know man interesting power to mara for for pulling through in that match and both of them were really hurting and I mean, I, uh, we're going to see Mara hopefully competing under slightly less uh, taxing circumstances, shall we say, today. Less taxing, and perhaps, but no less corrupt. And that no. is thanks to Mike Kalinowski, her opponent here today. And that's really the reason why you and I had to show up to the studio at all, is because originally True. this was going to be a fatal five-way. There yes. was going to be a collision. And then all of a sudden, Kalinowski, he's using all of his power in the league. He's lobbying Commissioner Thad Williams. And he says, I think that Inner Geekdom should be a tournament. And then the winner of the Inner Geekdom tournament should get a shot at Jason Inman, the current belt holder in the Inner Geekdom division, at the live event, which is September 8th. Get your tickets while they're still hot and available, kids. So now Count Ousie comes in here, and he was kind of having his sights set on the fact that he was going to have to play Rachel Cushing, but him and Mara had a brief run-in where he was trying to say, hey, th you need to thank me. Mara wanted no part of that, and he just told her, hey, you keep winning, and I keep winning. They're like that Mara happens, was just randomly reading a comic book at Collider Studios. I still want to know who Mike Kalinowski <laughs> is blackmailing to have all of this stuff happen. <laughs> well, he's blackmailed a lot of different people, I'm sure, but he also is a damn good inner geekdom opponent. I mean, no, he, he, he he took down uh, uh, Adam ha uh, Holavik. He got uh, Madonica Haven. I think that was both by a technical, uh, technical knockout as well. So these are two competitors who really know their stuff, and they are under the brightest of lights here today. Let's see how they're handling it so far with the pre-interview. Hey, hey, sheep. Here we are. The finals. This is going for it all. Some of you guys, you didn't think I was going to make it here. But those of you guys, I told you. I told you from the beginning what I was going to do. And here I am, ready to go for that belt. This is my last obstacle to get to Inman. So I'm here. It's the championship against Mike Kalinowski. Pretty exciting. Um, but that's not the real reason why I'm here. I'm here because Mark Ellis owes me a bagel. And I'm going to get it before I go home. And that's oh. right, a bagel. A bagel is a bird, a bagel is a food. From the beginning, everyone was saying that this tournament was Rachel Cushing no. to lose. Okay, I'm rooting well, for Mike now. And who'd she lose to? Mara Nop, a person no one of you ever heard of. And now, she's the star. Everyone loves Mara. She's the new golden child of this league. But well, you wouldn't have met Mara if it wasn't for me. I think my road to the championship and Mike's road uh, have been similar. I would like to think that Everyone was fairly evenly matched at the time, and I've had some tough matches. He's had some tough matches. He's also been incredible, and I've had some success as well. So it's it's a pretty tight race. I admired her from the beginning, the very first match. And she, you know what? I asked for a little respect, just a thank you from her, because I got her involved in this. I gave her a shot at this, getting rid of the five-way. You know what? She didn't thank me. So I said, what did I say to her? I said, you go on winning, I'm going to go on winning. We'll see what happens. Came back after a second match. You go on winning, I'll keep on winning. She did go on and keep winning, and guess what? So did I. So now I face her. Yeah, Mike, uh, the puppet master of all of this, I say to you that if you win, I will shake your hand today. And if I win, I'm going to demand that we go have punch and pie. And that will be a demand. You no, know, Mara in her last match in her interview, was post interview, I was watching it, and she referred to Adam and I. Adam is a pothole, and she called me a speed bump. 
I don't really know what that reference is, but you know what happened? She's one of those little low riders that's going to you know, drive on down the road. <laughs> she's going to go to that speed bump and see what's going to happen. <laughs> she's not going forward. <laughs> right. I, I got to say, I'm a little worried for Mike. He's wearing a different jacket today. That might right, be well, bad you see luck. That, uh, clearly that not, she's not 100% after well, her uh, unfortunate car. Well, I, there's consistencies. The studio, he wore the brown today. jacket not one three in a row. Her mind is clear. Jacket. Her heart is pure. And something. Mike Kalinowski continuing to cause corruption as we look ahead hmm. to anarchy, which is going to be taking place for the majority of the fall is going to be under that cloud. I don't know who I got here today, Emma, but I know a lot of fireworks are about to go off. It absolutely is true. And, uh, you know, it really could go either way today because, as you say, we have two incredibly strong competitors within inner geekdom and uh i don't know it's it's uh, it's gonna come down to the wire here i think today i think we could even be looking at another overtime match which i know mara doesn't want to hear right <laughs> now but it, we, we it's it's gonna be that close and i am again lucky enough to have somebody who knows how to pronounce all of the names in harry potter and lord of the ring right next to me with emma fight emma let's talk some tale of the tape all right so first up we have got mike the killer kalinowski mike ko kalinowski now it's corruption anyway his strengths include dc movies star trek, star trek. and making infographics to memorize all Star Trek is interesting. In Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, that is an actual Then fact. we have the amazing Mara Kanopic, the brown dwarf star. Her strengths include MCU, Star Wars, and fighting through the pain. <laughs> she is a gamer if there ever was one. And I fancy myself a sportsman, a competitor, and I just like to see good matches like this, so I consider myself ready. Emma, can you say the same? I would say that I am ready indeed, Mark this Ellis. This is going to be good. Right, then, Let's do it. Okay. Then it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Delivered with such grace and elegance that I could never even aspire to. Introducing first. Brand new competitor onto the scene, and she's already 3-0 and oh in the Inner Geekdom Tournament. She finds herself in the finals. Please welcome the Brown Dwarf star, Mara Kanape! <laughs> Yes. All right, coming out. I, I have yeah. to say, I appreciate uh, Mara's commitment to be comfortable, you know? I, I do love uh, the amazing amount you know of uh, Chewbacca enthusiasts we have, yes. not only that are competing, but also... You have that same hoodie? A I mean, onesie? Yeah. Wow. Me and my friends all have that same onesie, you've never actually. worn a onesie, I cannot recommend it enough. So at Target, I believe. <laughs> the most comfortable piece of clothing you can wear. Well, she'll be having it for this. five rounds. I'm a, uh, a singles competitor. Oh. Okay, so that is not her Wookiee onesie. What condition will she return it to them in victorious or in a losing effort? Her opponent. He's 3-0 in this tournament so far with two TKOs. He is the face of corruption, Mike K.O. Kalinowski. <laughs> He's the killer. What nickname is they say both? I don't think they've decided. Right at He's corruption, is, uh, Kalinowski. That's what he should be. And jokingly giving it up for Because they changed well. to Bad Killer Remember, and then he started Oscar getting knockouts again. Like, maybe. He dressed as Batman. He was a real force for good and for justice. And <laughs> That's probably it. Yeah. But I, I will say, so yeah. far, just looking at it today, he walked out. He was very courteous to the crowd. They were not courteous to him. He shook Mara's hand. So maybe Mike Kalinowski's turned over a new leaf. Mike Kalinowski, how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. Feeling very good. Okay. Very nice. All right, guys. So yep. The crowd looks a little okay. stunned, so I it's guess time with for all the controversy put to bed behind us now, it's I can just ask the competitors. It's a Mara. fair, it's, it's come okay. to a fair way that's supposed to come to. It's Mike's first five round. No is now here at this desk. We're going for the belt after this. You know, this is the way it's supposed to work. Yeah, everyone's looking at me as a bad guy. That's not the way this went down. Oh, so you're taking credit for Mara being here today. No, her skill got her here, but okay. she wouldn't have had this option to be here if it wasn't for. Yeah. Okay, well, let's uh, put it that way. That's the most okay. corrupt. We're past Sugar thank yous. We're past thank yous at this point. Heard. We're here. Uh, we are here, and we are ready to go up here at the answer desk. Mara, are you ready? Yay. Mike, are you ready? <laughs> hey, Clark, can I get a time code? I'm ready. Right. We knew that was going to happen. All right, well, then it's time oh. for the movie New trivia graphic. showdown. <laughs> Five rounds. Um, pause at 18 minutes. I'm going to give you a 10 count, one. okay? It's going to play like a normal round one, but in any garden variety inner geekdom 
championship or Darn otherwise it. match it's going to be 10 questions from 10 different corners of the inner geekdom universe each question is worth one point there's no penalty for missing a question there's no stealing in round one we're going to ask the question from the answer desk to you you have about 15 seconds to get your answer ready you need to write it down in that time as well on the whiteboard with the marker we have generously provided each competitor once we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 18 minutes. You each have that three good, usages Cody? of the JTE yeah. rule. That's okay. Josh the Engineer, and it's his rule because he likes to ask for a lot of repeats. You may do the same up to three times in any given match. Malcolm, I can still hear your video, video a little bit, dude. Championship yeah. Division. You guys also have one challenge each. If you don't like the way a question is ruled, you may use that challenge. If your challenge is upheld, then you retain the right to challenge. Emma Fife yes. is going to be asking all of the round one questions. And without further ado, Emma, let's have the first one from the category of Middle Earth. In Return of the King, who becomes a guard of the Citadel right, after cool. pledging allegiance to Denethor? Oh, um, already, you know, listen. Uh, well, this one actually was I have human. no clue. Uh, five, <laughs> wow. Four, I think it's three, this one. two, and one. Pens down by Kalinowski. I've Pippen. seen the Lord of the Rings movies once. Pippin. Pippin. There you also go. Also correct. Pippin. Pippin. Gandalf. All right, second question in the category of Star Wars. Obi-Wan and Anakin battle on what volcanic planet in oh, the okay. climax I of got that Revenge one. Oh, um, of the Sith? Uh, I, uh, I got that one. What, wait. If you went to a volcanic planet? Uh, <laughs> you know what? That's a better story. I'll keep that. Five, four, oh. three, two, one. One I've heard Mustafar. Right, Mustafar. It. Mustafar. It is Mustafar. Mustafar. <laughs> Correct. All right. Third question in the category of DCEU. What is the name of the hidden island homeland of the Amazons? Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, to the oh, to I have no idea Amazons. how to spell this. This is good. There, this is good. Yeah. I don't know how to spell it either, but I think I have it. Three, two. Yeah. One. Themyscira. 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 Okay, Paradise. Yeah. Correct yeah. for one point. And Mara? Them Themyscira. Just, also I correct. I don't know if it's spelled right at all. Uh, listen, there's actually a note in here that says, tough to spell, but anything close will be acceptable. <laughs> That's why we love you, Chris. All right, question number four, the category of Marvel, Marvel movies. Both in 2000's X-Men, what two members of the team saved Wolverine and Rogue from Sabretooth's initial attack on the road in Canada? Um, uh, I know one of them. Is he actually Canadian? I think he's actually Canadian. I don't know what his citizenship yeah. level is, but I believe he has a DUI, so he's not allowed back in. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Is it Cyclops and Storm? Let's give this That's what I put, Mars. Cyclops and Storm. Storm and Cyclops. That is correct. Yeah. I thought it was Cyclops. So correct. Yeah. And because each competitor is throwing a perfect game thus far, I always like to ruin it by cursing them and reminding everybody that if they throw a perfect round one, they will be asked a bonus question. That only they can answer. All right. Next question, category of <laughs> MCU. Who directed Spider-Man: Homecoming? Oh, I forget his name. I remember. Really, uh, really they really, yeah. Of, uh, I, I think I'm Damn confused it. about where things are happening now. Because Spider-Man's been, People he's like dancing that line in between MCU. And Five, four, three, two, one. Kalinowski. Is it John Watts? John yes, Watts. Yes, it is John Watts. John Watts. That is correct. Fact, John Watts. Is right. Perfect round for both competitors thus far. Next question, DC movies. Finish the Green Lantern quote. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall fill in the blank. Cody, are you still in sync? <laughs> uh, no, but I'm gonna. I'm downloading it right now, so I should be able to. Can you repeat the question? Yes. It should be able to by round two. In brightest day, in blackest night. I have four words, and they're supposed to be three, so this is probably wrong. Yeah. Well, you are in a. You are in the minority there. Four. Three, Wait, Green Lantern two, might be one. One, and we are going to give this one to Mara first. I don't know this. Well, Prevail, Green Lantern's it, so light. Doesn't count. Uh, uh, no, 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 except that, did Mike Kalinowski get it? Escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's yes, light. Yes, Scott. Yep. Okay. okay. We all we needed was escape my sight. Oh. So yes, that is correct, Mike Kalinowski. Nope. Still with the perfect round. 
Next category, mixed bag. This is question number seven. When was Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull released? Oh, um. That's the movie released. Scott Vance just materializes out of the background. Five, eight, four, three, I think it's this. Two, uh, 2007? I said eight. 2008. That is correct. 2008. This is uh, genius. Correct. Oh, oh, okay. That's 100% eight. These competitors have yeah. earned their right to be here. Yeah, they say. definitely have. He was uh, just awesome. Number eight category is Star Trek. In 2009, I was seven. Star Trek, who does Kirk first meet on a shuttle bound for Starfleet Academy? Um, I'm just gonna write down a name and hope it's right. <laughs> that's always my that's always my go-to on Star Trek. Yes. Now we go to Mara. Phones. That is correct. I heard Chekhov before. So I said Scotty. Uh, For five points, what's his first name? I'm kidding. It's Leonard. It we all know himself. that. I put right. spot. Uh, next category. Question nine: Heroes and villains. In The Dark Knight Rises. Ooh. What does Selena Kyle steal from Bruce upon their first Oh, okay. Oh, I know it. I mean, that's like a heck of a way to show a friendship or an enemy. You just show up to their house. I got it. I don't it. remember. I don't remember. Right. You stole Never something saw my from wallet her. Again. Five, four, three, his mom's two, pearls. One. Pens down, we go to Mike. His confidence. Two things. He stole the mother's pearls and his fingerprints. That's the yeah. mother's pearls was the question that we were looking for, okay, but uh, yes. Dead mommy pearl necklace. That yeah. is pearls. correct. Yeah. That is right. His mom's name. We don't know if it was Martha, but we do she had a pearl necklace. And we have approached the last question in round one. Mike Caldas. I think Rises gets a bad rep. Rain. I like it better than the Dark Knight. Question that will be asked only to him. The I like Rises better than Batman. Question is a Patreon begins. question. This comes That's a hot take. Andrew right. Schick. We love your family's raisers. Andrew and we Schick. We love you, Andrew Schick, for being a Patreon supporter. Yes. If you're not already a member, check out the movie trivia, show down Patreon, and see which category and tier is right for you. And he chose the category of Harry Potter. Very interesting. interesting. <laughs> Andrew Schick, I believe he's a slither. All right. In the Goblet of Fire, as a safety measure, what new rule is announced regarding the eligibility of students wishing to be selected for the Tri Wizard Tournament? I feel bad again. Um. No, oh, Slytherin's a good one. I, I'm Slytherin, so I I support. I, have, that, but I, I know it's some. Oh, that's great. Four, that two, it. Two, never visit any. Yeah, one, I don't. Ten, no, yeah. Never went on a date to one. By the way, Slytherin. And so like they have to be 18 yeah, years old or something. Over like that. 16? Uh, it's they can't be fourth years, right? They can't be above uh, above Mike fourth years. All right, Mike, do you have it? Well, I put they had to be over a certain age. Uh, we, it, it is 17, but we needed it to be written Must down be 17. 17. Yeah. Cannot accept uh, that. 17. Mike does not get a perfect yeah. game, although he got this close. <laughs> and Mara still trails Mike by one as she did the majority of that round. Yeah, that was a good first round, though. Well. That, that was a tough one. Their medal, they have earned the right to be here today. Oh, and yeah. now that, that we are is, upon yeah. the Mara's wheel a, round. This that was a great is round first number round by both of them. two. In round number two, the wheel will emerge with 10 different categories from 10 different corners of the inner Geekdom universe. And they were the both on the right trail for that final choice one, too. And the competitor yeah. dreaded opponent. Yeah, yeah. Choice. They were just looking for something pretty specific. Five questions from that genre. Each question is worth two points. There is no penalty for missing a question, but there is stealing available. In yeah, Mike Here we go. One by one, and he is going to have the option to spin first or defer to Mara. I will defer. All right, so and that means Mara is up. Here comes Mara. She is walking over to the wheel, which is sponsored by our Smodown patron, Nathan Ovendale. Nathan Ovendale, thank you for sponsoring it. We have heroes and villains and scores and What do you sponsor on it? Are the yeah. sponsored wedges here today, courtesy of Nathan Ovendale. And here it comes. Look at his opponent's himself. choice. Something. MCU oh. and Harry you got, Potter. Oh, my God. She got Harry Potter. All right, Mara. How are you feeling about Is she going to stick with it? She's, She's going to stick with it. Is she strong with it? Wow. Okay, Mara. You get five <laughs> questions in the world of Harry Potter. It just Potter. seems like she doesn't so care. Question. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry That's her old personality. Harry sets free an animal out. when visiting the zoo. What kind of animal did he set free? A snake. It was a snake. snake. You accept that, and that is two points in your favor. Your next question. What actor played Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter films? Rupert Grint. Two more points. Wow. Third question. She's rocking <laughs> some easy what is the questions, though. The oh, there's some softballs. After overhearing Voldemort yeah. conspiring with Peter Pettigrew at the beginning of the Goblet of Fire. 
What's his name? It was the guy. Is it A, Tobias Frank? Um, Frank. B, I don't know. If it's C, Frank Boy. Bra Frank, Frank Bryce. Frank Bryce, yes. He's in that yeah. mansion. Yeah. His entire section in the book is amazing. It was C, Frank Bryce. Give her a point. <laughs> Over there. Uh, your next question. This is your penultimate one. I just knew it wasn't Jacob Kowalski. Good job, Mike. tells Harry that the two wands he took from Malfoy Manor belong to Draco Malfoy, and who else? Um, Bellatrix the Strange. Is it not Draco's dad? Five, four, three. Harry. That is incorrect, incorrect for the steal and a no, because it's spelled tricks. Because um, get the question again without the JT rule. Uh, yes, you do. Because that's why Hermione gets it with the impersonation. Two wands he took from Malfoy Manor. Mike's gonna have a lot of pressure on him this match. Why did he get Lozano for a repeat? That's the new rule. I started that. It wasn't too. It is not Snape. Well, okay. for Bellatrix Lestrange. Yes. Bellatrix. Lestrange. All right. Good job, Malcolm. And now, well done, Malcolm. Mara's come down to her That's last strange. question in wow. round two. She's going to have a lead coming out of it regardless. Yeah. See if she can pat it a little bit here. Which of Ron Weasley's brothers is injured by a werewolf? Who? <laughs> ah, uh, Paul Weasley. Need an answer in five. Percy? Four. That is incorrect for the steel mic. Any other question again, please, without... Which of Ron Weasley's brothers is injured by a werewolf? <laughs> Come on, Mike. Is it George? That is incorrect. Looking for Bill! Bill! Bill. I mean, he was always this hanging around with werewolves, really and they always told him don't smoke cigarettes with werewolves. I feel just... like maybe the werewolf attack is what later made him go on to become a, you know, commander yeah. in the First Order. And... I mean, with that yeah, one, that it was wasn't Bill, really was clearly was mentioned oh, in the movie, like, so I don't right, well, understand why they probably blanked on that one. Mike Kalinowski, and it really comes yeah. down to what category he can spend. So, Mike, without further ado, please corrupt our wheel of justice. At least they said two Weasleys correctly. Again, so much time left in a championship match. Even yeah, they didn't say like two, you missed John. Some questions. You think you should have had? You get the oh. betting round. You get the speed round. Oh yeah, I have seen people in these five oh, rounders come choice. back hard in that speed round, even when they were down in round two. You know, and again, there's still so many opportunities to make a big difference oh, here. Oh, even could be, should could things could not be, go could be. And oh, I, you know, oh, Emma, oh, I said, oh, I said, corrupt the wheel. Oh, again. Um, and it seems it was happy because he, oh, he spun spinners. Wow, we got spinners. Third time. It looks like it's just wrenching his pure heart to do this tomorrow to to select a category. Go DC, so Mike, Mike. What category would you like to select for round number two? All right, go what you, go, go with what you know. Right, thinking about it. Go thinking Star about Trek. All that knowledge in his head, and we need an no. answer. No. Five. Don't go yeah. Star Trek. DC EU. Okay. Right. Good. Good. Uh, Here we good. Go good. That's good for you. Okay, Mike, you've selected the third DCEU. time getting spinner's choice this tournament. Five questions wow. in that critically acclaimed world. Your question number one is <laughs> critically acclaimed world. In Justice League, Name what does Batman tell Flash when asked what his superpowers are? I'm rich. Two points. <laughs> right, I'm rich. Silence. Literal. <laughs> ten drop there. What is the name of Zod's science officer? in the movie Man of Steel. <laughs> it is not a deep sigh. That's a toughie. That is tough. Okay, good choice. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Very is tough. A, Darren Vex. B, Dev M. C, Jax Ur. Or D, I think it's Rao. Rao. B? It is not <laughs> any of B. Can Mara right. steal it for a point? Will you... Do the you... options? Well, no, yeah, like, will you... Sure. I'll do the whole thing. What is the name of Zod's science officer in Man of Steel? Is it A, Darren Vex, B, Dev M, C, Jax Ur, or D, Rao? D? It is not looking for Jax Ur. Uh, really uh, good at chemistry. Jax 50, 50, 90. That's right. Never Duh. been by a werewolf. That's a fact. Our next question, and this is, again, going just to Mike in the world of DCEU movies. It's a third in this round. In Wonder Woman. What language is Dr. Meru's notebook written in that only Diana can translate? It's two languages. It's Ottoman and Sumerian. We'll take Sumerian oh, for two correct. points. 
And the impressive Kalinowski, even the fans who don't like him, gave him a little round of applause for knowing both languages. We are tied at 13, Hi, Emma. We have two questions left for Mike to try to take a lead going into the betting round. Next question. In the movie Justice League, when the three mother boxes are gathered together, what do they form? We need a specific name. It's called the Unity. It is called the Unity, yeah, and Kalinowski one. has taken the lead by two over Mara, and he still has one question left, and that one is, in Suicide Squad, oh, Mike. what is the name of Enchantress's yeah, brother, is. the one she's oh, selling to help her eradicate oh, many kind? That's the one from Gods of Egypt. He looks like he just got transported into that movie. That is an A, so bad. B, Cerebrus. C. Diablo or D. <laughs> Shaman. A sounds the one that seems. I know it's not Diablo. Yeah, I think it's the best. Yeah. Points for Mike Kalinowski, and he completes a very impressive round two in the DCU. He's one you, you That's what you're Diablo, supposed to do. And he has a three-point lead over Mara. Who Would you? Because I fell asleep in that game. Absolutely did. And, and you know, I playing the game is Batman, part of the game. So we had that too. Played a great me game. Too. He had some things that he wasn't sure on. He went to the multiple choice. It was the, choice, my wife slapped me. And she so you stupid. If it had not been Mara, would have been able to one point. So there's a little bit of strategy involved there. Well, we do get to see Mike Kalinowski spin that wheel one more time because he is in the lead, meaning he is going to be spinning for the betting round. We're going to see what the category is, and once we get that, we'll tell the opponents you just know, how they're going to make the way. Gotta, gotta go through. All right, spinning that wheel. I think it's spinner shorts Patreon again. Patreon sponsored wheel. Thanks again, Andrew Schick. Doing a great job. All right. <laughs> Excuse me, that was Nathan Ovendale, but thanks. Nathan Ovendale. Nathan Ovendale, and we love you Andrew too. Andrew Schick came in with the Andrew Harry Potter Schick question a, in round one. That's right. Get my Schicks and my Ovendales confused. Ooh, he has spun Star, Star Trek. Trek. Very oh. If it was Spinner's Choice again, I would have. Here's how it works. You guys see the category Star Trek, so please break down. A competitor has to spin yes. Spinner's Choice the twice in a match before. You are comfortable wagering from zero yeah. to three. If you get the yeah. question right, you win that Spinner amount of points. If you get the question wrong, right, you lose that amount of points. Give you a little bit of time to write it down, and once you do so, please show it to our. We're gonna write these down. Lonzo Ball. Excuse me, that's not Lonzo Ball. Sure. I don't have my glass on. I will actually bet. Right How many third. bet? And here we go. This is. In we'll bet zero. Star Trek. Bet three. I bet seven. Question I bet three because I can. What is the <laughs> yeah, name I no, I of the Klingon <laughs> planet the crew traveled to to take Khan into custody <laughs> in Star Trek? Um, Star Trek. I don't know. Uh, Got an answer. Got any wrong. More like 10 now. Probably rounded in around 6 The way now. time works, <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Kashyyyk. Oh, right. I don't so know. Competitors have finished Boom. writing their questions. It's Cincinnati, so, Mike, Ohio. How many points did you wager? I wagered 1. You what wagered 1, Mar. How many did you she wager? She said Pluto. Okay, Mike, your answer. Chrono. It should have okay, been. and Mara, your answer? Chrono. Okay, right. they, they, it's points all around yeah. here. And Mara, being a little bolder than Mike in the category Star Trek, I has that one go. Oh, Mike. Don't, you don't belt. That's bad. She should have been three. Call me. And we go into they both the should have bet three. Now, Emma, how do you see nah. this match shape it up? Oh, man. I mean, yeah. they've really yeah. been Mike neck and neck so far. Mike has continued to Especially if he listed Star Trek as a strength. Slightly half the edge. So it's really going to come down to the speed round right now. I think Mara's laid back approach in the speed round is going to come and knows these answers, she could very easily I, I think so as well. Round. That's right, and, and it's not a joke when you say it is a little bit of a physical it's hurt to Rachel get that buzzer down. So hopefully Mara can keep up with Kalinowski, although she's I not doing Jones. 100%. Here we go with see. the buzzer round. So she in front of the competitors, you will see a buzzer. We're going to ask a question. At any point during Emma's asking of the question, if you feel like you know the answer, you can hit that buzzer. You only get to hit it once per question. You hit it once. Once I say your name, you have two seconds exactly to give you know, us the correct answer. I thought always asking the rules would be an easy thing. Incorrect. But you once I had to do it, not correct. so much. You get a point. Yeah. All right, time for the speed round. Question number one. In Black Panther, who is the oh, leader of the Jabari angle. tribe from the mountains? Mike. M'Baku. That is correct. Question number two. Kevin Costner has appeared in how many DCEU films? Mike. Three. Incorrect. It's looking for two. two. Back to 17 to 15. Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. Uh, oh, question number three. What is the name of the heroic droid in Rogue One? Mike. Mike. K2SO. That is correct K2SO. for one point. 
Uh, question number four, what MCU <sighs> actor has a small role as George Kirk in 2009 Star Trek? That is Mike. Chris Hemsworth. Correct. Question number Chris five, Hemsworth. in the Fellowship of the Ring, what is the name of the mines that the Fellowship oh. must pass? Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Moria. That is correct. Wow, what an impressive speed oh. round for Mike Kalinowski. See, I know that. He, <laughs> he got up early, and then he regressed, and it's like you make a birdie, you make a bogey. He's right that was Sam Levine versus Rachel Cushing, too. Right. That's right one right of there. the more impressive speed rounds I have ever witnessed you know, in my time. I have to agree with you there, because as somebody that has witnessed many a speed round and has had competitors in title shots many, many times, I have seen how that speed round can really rock you if you start answering questions incorrectly early on, and Mike, it did not even phase him. That's right, and Wookiees known for their strength but maybe not their quickness on the buzzer and here we go to the final round this is round number five of the inner geekdom championship once again the winner final of round. this playoff tournament is going to be playing against jason inman the current inner geekdom belt holder live at the movie trivia schmodown live event september 8th at the el portal theater in north hollywood in round number five here's how it works each competitor is going to give us a series of three numbers ranging from one to 16, you can't pick the same numbers as your opponent because each number corresponds to a movie trivia category up here at our answer desk. The first number you give us is gonna be a two point question. The next one in a different category is gonna be a three point and then the last one a five point question. Ooh, ooh. There is no penalty for missing. This could get intense. In this, round, there is no this is good. In round number five, our final round. Mike Kalinowski, you currently enjoy a five point advantage over Mara. Would you like this to is possible your for numbers sun now, death, sir? Like the sure. number wise. Um, three, eight, and 13. Three, eight, and 13. Three, eight, and 13. And Mara, your numbers. Nine, two, seven. Two, and seven. Going all out of order, and I like the moxie. All right, Mara. <laughs> You currently trail by five points, and this two-pointer can get you back within striking distance with your three-pointer. You selected number nine, and that corresponds to the category of Star Trek. All right, and your Star Trek question. In Star Trek 2009, Sulu was proficient in what kind of combat? Fencing. That is correct for two points. <laughs> And just like that, wow. she could tie Mike Kalinowski she with this next zero round. emotion. She just correctly, she yes. selected number two, and that corresponds to the Hobbit movies. Everybody don't think remember the Lord of the Rings, and those were good. Um, then they made the Rachel. Hobbit, and they, they, they I, I enjoyed that. Oh no, she missed the three. three Watchable. There it goes. All right, Mara, your question in the world of the Hobbit is: Who plays? The master of Lake Town the in the Hobbit series. Stephen Fry. We are Stephen Fry. Fry. Yeah. Fry. yeah. Oh my God. It's the game. Mike Kalinowski, you. I could see another sun death if Mike just of gets his two I and three. Tell you all Mara, it's five. From the Hobbit. <laughs> that is an impressive feat. Unfortunately, we cannot award any bonus points for that at this time, but we'll, we'll bring it up with the commissioner. Uh, we can award points around the bar across the street. That's what done with this match. That is going to be impressive. All right, Mike Kalinowski, you selected number three for your two-point question. That corresponds up here to my eyes with scores and soundtracks. Scores and soundtracks. Oh. All right, your question for two points is, who composed the score for Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2? Brian Tyler. That is incorrect. Oh. Looking for Tyler Bates. Tyler oh, Bates. Holy and crap. so we stick with Mike Kalinowski. And in your three point oh, category, you selected the number of eight. Eight. Boy. And we'll see if he can scramble around just like the great Steve Young. At least scores in the You selected point. number Pretty eight. Fun. And that corresponds to the DCEU, which stands for, uh, I believe, DC yeah, Comics just... Extended Universe. <laughs> That would be He's good. 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 <laughs> you. He looks kind of flustered. Nevertheless, <laughs> your three-point question is, in David Ayer's Suicide Squad, what is the name of the Enchantress's alter ego? Oh. Oh. June. Um, Judy Moon. Yes, it is. Correct. June Moon. Dr. June Moon. So now Mike Kalinowski back to a three-point lead, <sighs> okay. and it all comes oh, down God. to... 
from Mara, and uh, boy, you know, sometimes you get a category of very no interesting, and it here. seems like fate is smiling upon someone. I seem to remember her introduction, and as I replay my head, she selected number seven. For your five-point question, Mara, to take the lead, is Indiana Jones. Your question. What? Your question is oh, or an Indiana Jones. Oh, the cat. Did you hear the cat word? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He started to say something that didn't matter. But I just I said your question. Exactly. Yeah. I just, but I couldn't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the same page. Sounds uh, about right. Most of the things I say do not matter. Hey, where's my bagel? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, nice. Your question is... He's <laughs> just trying to get us to dislike you. <laughs> what artifact, and we need the name of the artifact... Oh, God is briefly recovered by a young Indiana Jones at the beginning of the Last Crusade. It's the cross, the cross thing. Corona. What's it called? That is correct! There you go! Oh. Five point lead. Well, she has a two point lead. Damn, Mara is. She's still in the game, dude. I get really excited. Funny enough, by the exact same person in Multiplex match. I hope you're going to see a match like this that leads up because 3 0, 3 0, and it all just comes down to this. And thank goodness I got another overtime because we don't have the question power, I'll be honest with you. Come on. We do have one more question. That's going to be asked to Mike Kalinowski. How will determine if he walks out of here a winner and faces Jason Inman, or if we're going to see Mark Knopic? How many big rolls do I have left? Uh, you have I one, see. sir. Uh, no, I believe you have three. three. I don't recall him using any. All yeah. right. Mike Kalinowski, your question. He's all three. Number the graphic, 15 Mark. that you selected. <laughs> Please be who's seven. In the world of the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. Name the two robotic oh, arms. Mike. Come on, Mike. That Tony Stark utilizes in his lab, as mentioned in the Iron Man solo film and in Homecoming. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Damn. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's a deep one. Oh, no. That's a deep question. Oh. It's a five-foot question for a reason. That Tony Stark <laughs> utilizes in his lab, as mentioned in the Iron Man solo film. Poor Mike. I think he's got it. I think he's just putting on a show. He's How do you Roka. know this question? That's my thing. Like, there's no thought. I've seen those movies a ton. In his lab, as mentioned in I don't, Iron Man I don't think he does. And I think Mars. I know it. he talks to one of them and says, I'll sell you for parts, but I don't remember what he calls it. Is it he wrote Hardy? it, didn't he? And he does, he doesn't your know. winner! Are you shitting me? Wow, it's Mara. Justice. What a performance by KO, but Mara Kanopic walks out of here a worthy champion of this tournament and will be facing Jason. She can't believe it herself. She just said that's a hard question. That's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> we got 15 minutes left in this match. In this video. So Dan, Dan and Mara get to go to the have to go quick meet at the same event. <laughs> they can carpool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the more crazy things that I've seen. Not because Mara is in as good of a competitor as Mara. Wow. Oh, absolutely. Group, but it's Mara. Just, she just comes That's out a really question. nowhere in this. And then all of a sudden. Looks like the is, children in Peter Pan. Playoff, and she's she's competing in the tournament. I knew and that she goes three and oh, I knew and that one, too. But it's still, and like. Not an easy yeah. setting to win a game and in focus. Some people were quite angry with that, that As was Mike. He just got a tough MCU question there. The last exhausted as JT rule still wasn't quite enough. That's the answer to that. But I think her five-pointer was tough, too, e so yeah. I think that's fair. You, dumb E, yeah, those are Tony Stark's. Gotcha. That is you, I am dumb E, and now we are going to throw <laughs> it to uh, Jen Sturzer, who's going to have a post-game yeah. interview with both the winner and the loser. Jen, the chaos, the corruption, the victory well, at least Michael probably is all number yours. One contenders Ladies match and again. gentlemen, she has done it. The Brown Dwarf Star, did I do that right? Yeah? Yes. Okay, good has taken down the Death Star. Oh my gosh. Did I, you ever think in a million years we'd be standing right here? She's now at the no, live event. The That's going to be huge. No, not at all. And I have so many people that I can oh, thank no. for that. Uh, with Koi, Emma, and Rachel, they were all so intimidating that I 
got my prep on, you know? I studied and I couldn't have done it without them and they have all been such strong supporters. I don't think there were any losers in my matches. He took you down to the very last question. Oh my gosh! Sorry guys, I just wanted to come and say congratulations and honestly, um, that means a ton to me. Uh, oh, Rachel's feeling better, really that's good. Incredible match, and I'm so happy for you, and I'm happy for you today. Um, down with Anarchy, thank God. Yeah! And uh, someone's going to the live event, and I will be in the front <laughs> row rooting her on. Um, congratulations, seriously. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, yeah. even, with Mike, even with Mike, even with our good feud, he didn't walk out of this illusion in my eyes. <laughs> no, you didn't wow, walk out well, the last question. You guys <laughs> down to the last question. And what, what were you that? thinking as he was... I just think competitors aren't allowed to say that they have just just trying to pull that, that last answer. I was thinking so that Bibiani, is one of the toughest questions I have ever he heard, there, and I didn't know the answer. Yeah. So, I mean... the cause. That's tough. Now, you just took down corruption. I mean... Do so you does worry that mean that you're gonna have a target on your back now? Does this mean I rule the roost? No. Can we do things my way now? No. Oh yeah. This, works this is all. happening. No. Um, but you will be facing Jason in the new live event. <laughs> you know there are some complications with that. Uh, you know uh, I have a close personal relationship with one of the members of the Horsemen, and who would he cheer on? A person that he's in a close relationship with, or his fellow Horsemen? <laughs> Whoa, quite the conundrum. Oh, she's right. <laughs> wow, she's, so Mike, she's like so nice. Not the outcome you were hoping for. No. But here we are. So we move forward. Were you impressed by Mara? I was impressed. I've been impressed for since day one. So this is what this tournament was about. Wow. I could not face Mara right now by bringing her into the tournament. So here we are. No, she took you down to the last question. She did. Yep. Um, Did you think by using your JTE rules that you could actually pull no, it, or, no or you were just was. stalling? And, and anyone that thinks that they know what that was, you know, it's it's what it is. It's 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 this how the game works. <coughs> you, you, and we can fault it all we want. I've spun, you know. I'm sure everyone when they saw me spin DCU um, never thought I was going to win, and that's how it goes. It's it's just the game, and you could have a great round up until the end, and you lose at the end, and that's what it is. I. I because he wore the black jacket, and I, I told you guys. And I am the result of that, so I will. He wore the brown jacket, uh, happily. And wow, Linus and the superstition. This is how it went. You know, I can't, I can't fault it. I wanted this. I wanted to fair, jacket questions, fair questions. Uh, it just didn't go my way. Uh, when I thought they said MCU for that five point, I thought I was in good hands. I challenge anyone in this league that could know what that question was. So, you know, it was a. I wasn't going to pull it out. Does this mean the end for corruption? Well, we got the whole tournament coming up, so you know, I'm not. You know, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see. We're gonna go with it, and um, let's hope. I, I'm gonna watch Mara. You know, we gotta get the live event and watch Mara continue on her path that she's on. That's it. This is the nicest interview we've had in a long time. Uh, there's no reason people think. I, uh, you know, they they do the whole thing. I'm a heel. I'm a bad guy. This and that. That was uh, an it's awful what it is. I was out, set up so hard, something. But respect. I accomplished that. I was hoping that I would, of course, wanted the belt, but it didn't happen for me. So I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm not gonna whine about it. It happened. The belt will always be there. Mara's a competitor that now has put the league on notice. You know, for a while it was always Rachel. Now there's two of them, two great stars in this league. Are will be facing each other again. You know, it's it's we're gonna do this dance forever. So. So what's are. next? Do should That's I tell you? Truth. Maybe I have things working. This is the <laughs> corruption was not just about the inner geekdom. It was the start of the inner geekdom, and then it was going to go out from there. I'm not going to tell everything. I'm going to tell you that. Ooh. No fun in that. There's no fun in that. You want to close this out, Jen? No, we're done here. We're done here. Yeah. Are we? We are done. This part is done. Sorry, it's such a bad day. It's okay. It wasn't a bad wow. day. Wow. Tomorrow, win. <laughs> my creation. Should have worn the brown jacket. Now she's going to go against Inman. So we'll see what happens. Yes, we will. All right, Em, I mean, you, you see this. Mar is just very, very graceful in uh, in victory. And Mike Kalinowski, I'm not going to say he's turned over a new leaf. He's clearly looking forward to anarchy and messing with a lot. He's done a lot of team shuffling. But um, you got to realize both these competitors knew who they were going up against, and they both brought 
their A game. Absolutely. And, you know, they had their ups and downs throughout the game. Mike Kalinowski was up for most of the game, and then it just didn't go his way in round three. We've seen it happen before in the inner geekdom, out of the inner geekdom. My goodness, William Bibiani is legendary for being terrible at round three. <laughs> so, you know, the, there is – there. There's some, oh. as far as the chips fall, where the showdown is concerned. And when you have Chris, two people that are as strong as competitors as Mike Kalinowski and Mark. I know, Kovic, it's a literal it, it shot to the heart. To, you luck and out getting a Emma's to blame. She and gives love see, a bad you name. You see somebody like, like Mark Anopic, who was really up against it. I mean, she goes I mean, into the last round shot trailing by five um, points. And it wasn't as any five points. For the there were some of those points were earned in the speed round with Mike. That's true. That's sexually true. It's going to be awkward. All of a sudden, you just go back. Back and forth, what a match! Mara is good. He's going to be having a belt during that tournament to anyway. All-time matches and Mike Kalinowski for all the crap that we did. His corruption led to the turn, and I think that's a pretty darn good Sam, thing. Emma Fife, I can't I want to thank you watch for that live. I'm the so excited. How about a hand for Emma Fife, everybody? Well, thank you for huh. having me and utilizing my ability to pronounce wizard words. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see you guys all at that live event on September 8th. That is right. You can get your tickets right now. Just go to schmodownlive.com or wow. you can just check there. out any one of our Twitter feeds, websites, etc. Get your tickets for yourself for the September 8th it's event. And make sure you guys check out Emma Fife yeah. across all social media platforms and her show Pencils and Parsecs. I and merely Mark Ellis and you should check out the Movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon. Check out our Patreon right now. Select which Cut tier scene, is right for you. Maybe we say scene. your name in an upcoming championship match Let's for the Schmodown Rundown. The Movie Trivia Schmodown we got Facebook five page minutes left. and Christian George Harloff. That is Plus, fight again. Update. Baby Carrots. And we will see you guys <laughs> at the live event. What a chest. It's a shot the night. <gasps> The feeling that if you just known a little bit more this about the movie Labyrinth, cinematic. the history of the Schmodown would be different. It does indeed. But then I feel a great <laughs> swell of pity for anyone who comes around looking for a rematch. <laughs> oh! You should have killed me when you had the chance. That is amazing. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> Release the Kraken! <laughs> <No>! <laughs> this is madness! This is Sparta! <laughs> this is amazing! Pat! <laughs> Can it be Tuesday already? Oh, Sam. He's not a competitor. He's not relevant. Now it's Bibiani and Andre. I can't. That's so cool. One of the highest scoring matches ever is now literally a rematch for the title. And that's exactly what she earns here on her turn. As for Mike, he also stayed in line with what he's been doing throughout the tournament, putting up seven points. To where they put that as a own. Tuesday match? With the betting round, Mara was able to chip away at Mike's. I think the partner reveal is a little bit with a score of seven more. Yeah, above. yeah. Heading into the speed round. Speed round was Which I disagree, but it's no and normally aren't team. Just I don't know. Yep, teams are Tuesdays usually. They flipped it because of the mystery yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it may be something else big happens on the net match that they don't want to reveal on Tuesday. Five rounds of Chris Clark stressing. Oh, it's going to be a five rounder. I forgot. Oh, yeah, this isn't their three round no more. This is five. Ooh. Ooh. 
Inside the numbers, Mike Kalinowski had a solid day overall. He went 19 of 26 for 73% correct. His overall accuracy throughout the tournament will stand at 85% over this four match span. As for our tournament winner, Mara Kanopic, she played her best match in the entire tournament, answering 15 of 20 for 75% correct. Throughout her four tournament matches, her accuracy sits at 64%. If you want to find out all the stats about this match and from around the league, check out SD Rundown Stats on Twitter. And don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on the Collider Podcast Network on YouTube and the Collider Factory Podcast feed. This is the Schmodown Breakdown. Wow. Okay, guys. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. That does that. Um, this was a huge final. I'm gonna go to you, Malcolm. What are your thoughts? Um, I, I see it from the start. It's like, um, I'd love to see Mara um do a cause the upset, and it she really Ooh. did so. She did. So, I uh, mean, it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a really, it was a really great match. It was. Cody, what are your thoughts on the match? Uh, I think it was a fantastic match. Um, probably it could go down. If Mike didn't struggle in round three, I think it would have been a little bit closer for match of the year. Um, it just proves that Mara is here to stay, and she has a, a great track record going in. I love now the underlining storyline. Merle and the uh, Merle and uh, Inman uh, Horseman and her girl, his girlfriend. So that's going to be an interesting storyline going forward. So it's, it was a fantastic match. I really enjoyed it. Indeed. And of course, Linus, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, that was an extremely exciting match from beginning to end. Of course, I'm a little bummed Mike didn't take the victory, but there'll be contendership matches for him and Intergeekdom making it to the finals. And it's great for Mara seeing a rookie win a tournament like that. That's fantastic. And if someone had to beat Mike, she's probably a really cool person to do it. So it's exciting that she's going to be playing for the title. And overall, it was, it was very exciting. 110%. Guys, I feel like this was a great, great Intergeekdom final. I cannot wait. This is turning out just as Christian would have wanted, even if Mike lost. It's going to be interesting for the storyline. So you can find out more of our thoughts on the uh, Schmodown um, Reactor Summit that we do every Monday. Airs every Monday, so make sure you check that every Monday night. So, uh, Malcolm, where can the good people find you online? You can find me on Take Free Productions, where I host my show, Rankham. Um, this week's um, going to be a fun one. It's um, top 10 Oscar categories that should be added um, to the Academy. Um, and also you can find me competing in trivia um, all over the place um, on World by Movie Games and Multiplex and Jukebox Trivia where I'm mm -hmm. facing um, David Jimenez um, this week. So. Awesome. Uh, Linus, where can the good people find you? You can find me around Take 3. I'll be on Reactions for a lot more often. Find me on the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page, stuff like that. I'm on Twitter at Schmodown Linus. So. Cool. Yeah. And Cody, where can the good people find you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Cody Newberry, uh, Full Metal Trivia and Movie Battleground, and you can find me pestering Malcolm on Rankum sometimes. So, yeah. Uh, you can actually find Linus on Linus Schmodown, not Schmodown Linus. Um, that, is that that's your actual Twitter handle, right, Linus? I don't know. I don't really okay, know. cool. Okay, cool. Because I thought I typed it for a second, but this is Linus Schmona. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at ChrisClug8788. Those numbers mean nothing. You can also find me on YouTube here at Take the Productions, where I do Suddenly Soundtracks for every Saturday. Tomorrow is the Schmodown Rundown, the official after show for the movie trivia Schmodown on the Collider Podcast Network. So from uh, Linus, from Malcolm, from Cody, I'm Chris. Keep rocking. <laughs>